my channel today I'm gonna to be doing a $25 Aldi haul for you guys but what makes this video just a little bit different is today's haul is actually a collaboration with several other fantastic YouTube channels I'm gonna link all of them down below but if you are visiting this channel from one of those other ladies sites hi welcome my name is Kristen and welcome to my channel if you like what you see here make sure to click the little red subscription button down below and if you like hauls themselves give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below where you like to shop and save the most money. I thought an Aldi haul would be great because you can really stretch your dollar there and majority of the ladies in this collab are also shopping at Aldi but there is one lady her name is Marianne her channel is Shopping Crafty one of the ones listed below she unfortunately did not have an Aldi to shop at so she decided she was still going to participate in the collab but she is going shopping at another store location I'm not sure which one it is but she's in California so I am excited to see where she goes to shop and stretch her dollar but without any further ado, here is my $25 Aldi haul collab. First things first is I'm trying to get into bringing my own bags to Aldi because if you haven't been to these stores, the prices are lower because they don't have all the amenities that you have at a normal grocery store. They don't have the plastic bags. You have to leave your cart in the front and put a quarter in it so they know you're going to put it back, which alleviates the need to have a staff member go out and pick up carts. They just do these tiny things to keep prices down. So I have been trying to bring my own bags because if you forget a bag, you can still have one. I think they're like six cents a bag, but I'm trying to consume less waste and trying to be just a little bit more resourceful. So I have a bunch of these cute little bags. This one just has a bunch of license plates on it. I'll put it over here. And then first item on the haul, I want to get them done because they need to go back in the freezer, are these frozen bags of fruit. I have been trying to make more fruit smoothies in the morning for breakfast. If you've already joined this channel and you've been here for a while, you know a few weeks ago I did the green smoothie challenge, which I will link in the cards up above. I'll link the whole playlist. I did breakfast, lunch, dinner for an entire week of nothing but green smoothies. So if you want to see a crazy person, go ahead and click that link right there. But these are fantastic with just a little bit of Greek yogurt, orange juice, and a banana and then like half a cup of each of these or mix it up however you guys like it. Next on my haul are my favorite snacks to take with me. They are baby carrots and hummus. I like to have these whether I'm working in the office or I'm editing at home or I'm just having a snack after work, it doesn't really matter. These are a fantastic snack. Baby carrots are less than a dollar at Aldi. Up next, getting into some green things, I have a bag of spinach. Um, in my fridge now, before I went shopping, I did notice I had um, a half a cup of sliced strawberries and a bunch of onion, a little bit of feta cheese, and a couple of the Kalamata olives. I'm probably saying that wrong, which is sad because I'm Greek and I should know how to say that. But I figured if I just bought some spinach, I could make some Greek salad and take that with me for lunch. I am going on vacation this weekend, so I'm trying to eat a little more healthy, which is what you'll see in the rest of this haul. 90% of it is healthy foods, which is great because I'll show you guys how to get healthy foods, you know, for less. They're not super expensive, but spinach goes great with salads. I'll put it into smoothies sometimes just to kind of sneak in the green. Moving on from one green thing to another. These are two green peppers. I have a recipe that I like to make. It's like a one pan. You just chop a bunch of vegetables, slice up some sausage, put it all on a baking sheet, put a little bit of olive oil and then a bunch of spices and throw it in the oven. It's like the easiest thing and I love simple and easy lunches during the week. So I needed some pepper because I already had the onion like I said. And right here. Also, also needed in that one dish dinner is some broccoli. I'll link the recipe down below so you guys can see it if you're interested in those like easy one pan dinners. It really is a bunch of assorted vegetables, uh, a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top, slice up some sausage, sprinkle with olive oil and spices and it literally makes like five or six lunches, dinners, whatever you need. And then while it's baking, I always make a big batch of long grain pasta, or not pasta, long grain rice. So I can have a little bit of rice and my dinner. 
Next, always a staple in my hauls or groceries are bananas. I got a smaller bunch this week because again, I am going on vacation and I figure whatever I don't eat out of this, I will freeze. I actually love buying bananas, even if, like I know I won't eat them all, if they're on sale, I will always buy a bunch. There was one week I actually bought three bunches of bananas and I knew I couldn't get through all of them. They were just on super, super clearance. And then when they started to ripen and go brown, I peeled them all, sliced them into fourths and put them in a big freezer bowl. And I actually still have a bunch in my freezer now. It is so easy to just wake up, put all your fruit in that blender and make that smoothie in the morning. You don't have to worry about peeling anything. You don't have to worry about your bananas going bad or rushing to get them, you know, eaten or consumed because they are in the freezer. Always good. First time purchase here. I've always bought potatoes for recipes, like maybe one or two, but I've never actually bought the entire bag. And these were on sale, I think under $2 for this thing. Maybe, maybe two or three, I don't remember exactly. But I've been told they keep for a while and it's again, it's something I need in that one dish, dinner, bake that I talked about earlier. Red potatoes, awesome. I'm also gonna try and attempt to make mashed potatoes from scratch for the first time. We'll see how that goes. But red potatoes for the win. Another staple in my shopping haul is an avocado. I normally get two or three, but again, I'm going out of town and I hate, hate, hate wasting food. So I said, I'll just get one avocado and I'll either put this in one of the salads or I'll put it on some toast in the morning and they just are a fantastic snack. Let me know down in the comments, do you or anybody you know slice these in half and then just eat the half of the avocado with a spoon? I've seen it done, I've never done it myself, I have no interest in trying it, but I have seen people do it, and I'm just curious, do you guys slice these and just eat them as a snack? Another boring purchase, but it needed to be done, is some spicy brown mustard. Uh, my boyfriend bought a bunch of like bread and meats, I think it's gonna be like a sandwich week, and I told him I wanted to go on a picnic at some point this summer, and he likes yellow mustard, and yellow mustard's fine, but I am a little bit prone to the spicy. Also on the list is this big vat of flour. I realized when I went and cleaned my kitchen that I have everything else for baking, like the baking soda, the powder, the brown sugar, the eggs, everything else, but I do not have flour and it is on my list to bake more this summer. So I figured I would just grab this while I was there. Honestly, I was a little fearful that I would go over $25. So this was kind of like my, eh, if I go over, I'll pull this back and put it back on the shelf sort of deal. And last but not least, you always need to have one snack in your haul. At least that's what I say. So I got these chocolate covered pretzels. I am so excited to try these. I didn't get a big bag, I got the smaller ones, and what I'll do is I will portion them out so that you know I don't eat the entire bag. Because this bag's not that big. How many servings? Huh, it says five servings. I thought it would have been like two. It's, yeah, it's only five ounces. So I guess one ounce is a serving, but hopefully it'll be good. Nice to have in lunches. I just have to remember to portion them out. I couldn't think of the word, portion them out. But that is everything in my haul. I spent a total of $21.36 for everything. That, those were the 13 products that I bought. <clears throat> a majority of them were fresh fruits and vegetables. Granted, I didn't need to get any meat this week, again, because I'm going out of town. But nonetheless, I was able to get all this stuff $21.36 for all 13 items, that includes tax. Anyway, I hope you guys like this Aldi haul. Once again, this is a collaboration. Please go and check out everybody else's channels. They'll be linked down below. They all try to do a haul in $25 or less. They are wonderful ladies. You will definitely wanna check out those channels. Once again, if you like collaboration videos, make sure to give this one a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below of things that you like to buy at Aldi or things that you like to buy at the grocery store that save you the most money or give you the most bang for your buck. That is all for me today. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.